ladies? Welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I'm bringing you a super fun video. We're doing a whole Coco family night inspired party. I got my whole family involved. We did some DIYs and it's super fun because most of the stuff you can get from the dollar store or from Target. So I'm excited to show you guys. And if you guys are into this sort of video, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you guys are notified every time I post a video. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, organizational videos and I would just love to have you. I'll be listing everything I can find in the down bar below including my website that has all my favorites in one place. And if you feel like depositing some positive energies, give your girl a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate it. So if you guys want to see how we put together this super fun, inspired Coco theme party, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, the first thing we did was get together all of our arts and crafts. We're using puff paint and decorating this glassware I got from Michael's. It was $3. I'm doing an art project with these guys. It didn't really turn out that good, but I will sh explain it a little bit later on. And then we got a bunch of candles for the table. So here you see us, we're just sitting down doing an art project and we had so much fun decorating these with puff paint. My husband even loved it. And then the next thing we did was make our banners, which I saw some on Amazon, they were like $10, and I'm like, dude, I can make that snowflake style. So you just continuously fold your paper until you get it into a cone shape, and then you cut little triangles. I did circles and squares and different ones, but um, this one I'm just showing you triangles, and you don't, this is all you have to do, it's so easy. And then also I used a bunch of different colors for our theme and it was so easy the way I hung it up. I just used a piece of string, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But when you open it up, it looks like this and it was so cute. And then I just fold it and make a little flap. I honestly didn't use tape. I didn't use anything. I just set it up there. So then the next one is really easy. My kids did all of these. So when you see the banners in a little bit, you'll see, um, you know, some of the ones that my kids make, but you basically are just cutting little strips and you don't go all the way to the end and it's gonna make a little flowy banner. So it's super cute, super easy, and the whole family can get involved. That's what I love oh, about it. I just it. used this red string I got from the dollar store. Honestly, everything we made or got from the dollar store, a few of my bigger ticketed items were from Target, but I'm literally just placing them up there. The kids ended up wanting to help. I did two, I believe we did two strings of them. This was the first string that we did but how cute are these oh my gosh after i'll sh at the end when you guys see how it came together it turned out so good and i got this paper i think it was like 50 percent off at michael's which was such a good deal and i'm obviously going to have a bunch left for other art projects but here's one of the little banners that jade made and it turned out so cute this had such a huge impact and it was so easy and so cheap to make so i definitely suggest this even for a birthday party or whatever the next thing we're making is mexican corn it's just butter salt mayo parmesan tahine and tapatio we left it plain right here but we added ours at the end so the kitties wouldn't get too much spice and now we're making these chili cheese chips they're like walking nacho bags or something but we ended up putting them in bowls because we're at home and we're just doing two cans of chili and we did i think one meat and then one with beans but it was so much fun because the kids could open the cans up and do it themselves we don't normally eat out of food cans but um you know this was super simple and i think it'd be really easy and inexpensive for a party but this was our splurge night so we decided to go all out and have all the calories that we wanted to this was really cool roman decided to do doritos in his he wanted to do cheese and ranch Doritos together, which I thought was really fun. And Miss JD wanted to do Cheetos for her chips. I said, you know what, girl, live your best life. You go ahead and make uh, Cheeto nachos. She didn't like chili, so she left hers plain, and I'm just using basic chips on mine. I definitely put guacamole and some jalapeno and a little bit of sour cream, and it was so good. And here you see us making the guacamole, which is such an easy recipe. You just take avocados, lime, salt, pepper, your favorite salsa, and hot sauce, which we didn't put any because the kids like this guacamole, which is really nice. Um, they basically just mix it all together in a bowl and 
I feel like you can use a half a cup, but you can put more salsa if you want less guacamole in there, or you can put more, um, you know, avocado. It's completely up to you how you want to make this recipe. It's basically to your taste, but it's so easy and it's really good alternative to cutting everything up. The next recipe is another easy one. Roman did it all by himself, and we were making crescent roll churros, and we had everything in the fridge. All we needed was the crescent rolls. They come in sheets or in the regular ones. We just did the regular ones. We couldn't find the plain sheets. I think that would have been easier, but he's just mixing all of his sugar and cinnamon together, and then you spread the butter on the sheets and you sandwich the two pieces together. Now after you sandwich the two pieces together, you cut them into strips and give them a twist and you can spray them with a little bit more butter or brush them with more butter and you stick them in the oven and they turned out so good. We served it with a side of frosting and it was a huge hit. The kids absolutely loved it. So this was how everything turned out. We got some Mexican soda and candy and we decorated our ofrenda with our loved ones. And it was so cute, so much fun, so easy. Like I said, mostly everything that I got was from the dollar store and from Target. So it's super easy for you guys to do. I hope this inspires you. Maybe you can do it for a family night or you can do it for a party, whatever you guys want to do. But we had so much fun. I can't wait for our next one. We have one coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed our Coco inspired theme party. We had so much fun doing this. Even my husband, he actually said, can we do some more family DIYs? I'm like, okay, something went good there. So if you guys were inspired or could use anything I showed you, give your girl a thumbs up. And if you've made it all the way to the end, of the video give your girl a heart emoji and let me know that you did don't forget to subscribe hit that little bell if you haven't done so already and thank you guys again so much for watching i'm always your girl Lorna marie